Hi, it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, would you like a cocktail? I would love a cocktail. It would be a great way to end a nice, idyllic day by the pool. So, um, the cocktail we're going to have this uh, this weekend is a Blue Lagoon Margarita. And uh, it's a twist on the Blue Lagoon, Lagoon uh, cocktail. So okay. anyway, um, what we start out with here is uh, some ice, which uh, we use our hands for. And, um, Always our hands. So, and, and the Blue Lagoon cocktail, basically it substitutes mar uh, the, um, the tequila, and you want to use a light white tequila for your tequila. You don't want to use a, a yellow tequila, or you're going to get a green lagoon, which is, as, I, as my pool was kind of yucky when it was green, now it's blue, it's happy. So, you want to start, you do it, it's basically a two to one mixture of, of tequila and blue carousel. Now, normally you see the naps, I think, Bring the caps, caps, and I thought this bottle was a little more pretty. It so, pretty. the interesting thing about- It looks old timey, like medicinal or something. Uh, the carousel, the interesting thing about the carousel is when the East India Company acquired the island of carousel, mm -hmm. they were looking for ways to profit from the island. So they had these, um, these oranges that were inedible. They were, they were useless, they called them useless. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, and this man in the late teen, late 1600s figured out that you could make a liqueur from the skins, and that's how they started making carousel. Now, the man that decided to put the blue coloring in there, it's unknown why he did it. It has no purpose whatsoever other than to make it a beautiful blue color. I postulate that is to make it appear more royal. So it's a two for, you know, it's a it's, it's a one to one ratio of of. Uh, uh, Tequila to carrot blue carousel. Now the um, it usually used the glug glug method, right? So you just glug glug. And glug glug. Perfect. Glug glug. Perfect. Glug. So. Um, you can dance to it. Then the next thing you want to put in here is some fresh squeezed lime juice, right? Mm -hmm. So we have our limes already cut today, so just to save time. So you want to put it's a it's a half to one mm -hmm. version of that. So then you want to put some of the uh, the old uh, simple syrup in there. Squirt, squirt, mm -hmm. right? That's a double squirt. Oh, oh here's my beer glass. What am I doing with that? Okay, now you're going to shake this, and in in um, honor of my uh, paradise bartender, shake, shake, shake. Awesome. And awesome. He has to say up awesome. Up top style. And we uh, we're gonna pour this. You know, this is up. So we're gonna get some some glasses. And what we'll do is we'll take a lime and we'll work the edge of this glass, right? Mm -hmm. And then what we can do is I have some salt up here. I'm using kosher salt because it's nice and gritty. You'll see a nice salt on the edge there. Very so nice. now we have this nice mixed cocktail. And if I pour it, look how pretty. Wow, gorgeous. And then we finish that with a lime on the edge there, and there's our finished cocktail. It looks wonderful. Would you like to try it? Do I have to stop my salsa dancing first? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to give you any. It. Well, that is not very kind of you, sir. That is delicious. Do I have to just live vicariously through you? No, I think you could try it. Okay, thank you. I'll try it. I'm, I can't wait to hear what you think of it. I will let you know. Momentito, por favor. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I love it. You can give it back now, please. <laughs> well, have a beautiful Sunday.